big 20 years ago. So we used BioAltimid, and these were some of the patients. We were glad to use BioAltimid for the simple reason that if you used Sculptra, you ran the risk of a needle stick injury because they needed five treatments with about 70 injections per treatment. Plus, to be honest, you couldn't trust the patients coming from overseas. You didn't know who they were. Unless you asked for their passport, they could be giving you anybody's bloods, and you could be at risk of a needle stick. So th th there's the first patient that was treated in the United States by myself um, over 20 years ago now, maybe acidotal. That was one of the first papers I'd written with David Goldberg regarding the use of uh, bioatomate. There was three of us doing it in the world, Robert Gallo in California, Peter Welthaus in Eindhoven, and um, myself. And we treated, I'd treated about 45 patients. But then bioatomate kicked off as well. So you had this problem here, it appeared like 10 years later, Bioatomid since has been taken off the market and um, <clears throat> it again formed these sterile abscesses and there was lots of these. Lucky, any of the patients that happened to me, and it wasn't too many, it only three of them, I was able to immediately remove it because I only went in with one um, so direction. Is, that sort of, so I knew how to take it back. So th that was Alex Ducatino. He got uh, an award from Bono 2003 in New York. And he had treated all these HIV patients, but his patients were dying. And even though he sort of had presented, and that was me so back then, and I said, look, it has to be the drugs that are doing it. Because everybody was telling me that it was HIV because the patients who were living longer than the drugs were suddenly developing this lipodystrophy phase. My background is science also. It made no sense to me because they were getting big humps on their back, up to four pounds of fat, their faces were gaunt, and to me that sounded like a drug doing it. Why in God's name would HIV do that? It made no logical sense. So in the end, even though I stuck out, and <clears throat> those early days you had to hold your place because everybody was an expert, a bit like now, and we were proven right in the end because the new ARVs don't do it at all. So when we don't tend to see HIV lipoatrophy anymore, but it was a big, big problem because even though the patients were living with HIV, they couldn't appear out in the public. They were so gaunt. Um, a lot of them were actively suicidal in that period as well. So that's the problems that um, about 2002, 